Well hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wild Your Garden and in this video I want to talk to you about an initiative that I would like to start throughout the UK and worldwide. Now here in the UK Plant Life started a hashtag no mo may and a bit of an initiative to try and give people a bit of a baptism by wildflowers if you like so introducing them to the importance of wildflower meadow and just how enjoyable they can be in your own back garden so throughout the whole month of may people are encouraged to leave their lawns and just see what comes up and quite often if it's a un, well if it's a mown lawn that's been mown for years and years and years you will be astonished at how many wildflowers are already there waiting to burst out of the inch or so sward that they are used to living in and flower so it's a really great idea and it's one that can prove absolutely wonderfully beneficial towards our pollinated insects so butterflies bees moths and in turn therefore they are providing food for bats birds and everything else mammals so it encourages an entire ecosystem by simply not mowing parts of your lawn but what i'd like to introduce is no mow summer because if you see behind me, I know I'm in France and we are a little bit ahead of where we would be in the UK, probably by two to three weeks where I am at the moment. But that doesn't mean to say that there are still lots and lots and lots of beneficial pollinators, butterflies, bees, everything else still going about their daily life throughout the months of June, July and August and even into September and October in some cases if you're thinking about red admirals, speckled wood butterflies, that sort of thing. But it's not just the UK, as I say, this is something that I'd like to introduce worldwide so that I know it's a bit of a plunge into the deep end in terms of letting your meadow grow for months on end. However, if you adopt a few principles, a few simple techniques, forget what the neighbours say, forget what anybody else thinks, try mowing up to the edges of it. Now, where I am at the moment, I've actually come to visit one of the largest chateaus in France. This is Chambord, which is oh, gargantuan. It's unbelievably beautiful, an incredible spectacle and an engineering feat that was finished uh, around about the mid 16th century. Uh, it's just unbelievable. However, that's not a video for today. Um, it's just on the way to seeing another town that is really beneficial for wildlife here in France on the bit of my sort of a tour of France with a consultation that I've done in the southwest. So if you haven't seen it, check out the France playlist. There's some videos on there of all the flora and fauna I've seen, some of the new concepts, well not new concepts, but some of the things that I've seen that have really kind of given me some more inspiration to really shout about a few important messages I feel that are, you know, a bit more well represented shall we say here in France I believe however coming back to this no mow summer concept I think if you can mow up to the edge of a, a meadow for example because the common belief is that meadows are scruffy meadows are ugly unruly things well look at that look at the vipers buglus in that and it's full of wildflowers full of butterflies there's meadow browns all through this within the next week or so there will be loads of skippers as well marble whites all the white varieties small large green veined many many species and this is representative wherever you are around the world if you have meadows as a habitat locally you will be encouraging your local butterflies and bees and moths and bats and everything else and i think by not mowing up to obviously i'll put some clips in sorry by mowing up to the edges you give it some definition you give it some purpose and immediately when I approached this section of wildflower meadow I thought to myself that's intentional it looks kempt it looks purposeful and there are no questions I think it helps soften the boundaries between a messy garden and something that's just been left to grow and something that's purposeful and beneficial for wildlife so I think if we can and if you can please don't mow your meadow down at the end of may if you're adopting the no mow may concept i know we're already into june now if you were trying the no mow may for the first time you've probably already cut your meadow because your husband or your wife was kicking and screaming saying i want the mown lawn back however i bet 100 percent 
that both of you or whoever you are, you live with one of you will at least be saying just look how many creatures visited our meadow throughout the course of may so i think if you can leave your lawn through the summer um, mow a path around the edge of it mow a path through the middle of it and it will look absolutely definitive it will really give it a frame if you like a border so it it frames this piece of art in the middle of your garden and I think that really will encourage more people you know the neighbors might pick it up and think well actually do you know what that's quite a nice concept I don't have to mow it through the summer with the price of petrol for a petrol mower <laughs> that it is these days it doesn't cost me a fortune every ten, seven days mowing the lawn it's less effort it looks better and it's beneficial for wildlife so those three key points, I can never, ever, ever understand why more people don't want wildflower meadows in their own garden. As I say, it's beneficial for wildlife, it looks better, and it's less effort. Where are the negatives? You tell me. So, as I say, no mow summer. Again, I really fully, fully um, appreciate the concept of the no mow may. I think it's a great way, as I say, to get people introduced into letting go and that's the biggest problem we have here in the uk in particular is letting go of our lawns and our green spaces and letting nature just have a bit more of a toe grip in our landscape because we 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 really do maintain it too much we cut things to the nth degree we flail our hedges we cut our lawns our verges our parks which just wipes out so many flowers so much potential habitat and all you have to do is leave it alone it's as simple as that so please if you can spread the message let's get no mo summer a thing let's make it a global thing not just here in the uk because it could happen anywhere in the world and it will benefit all the relevant wildlife you have in your surrounding areas as i say it'll benefit bees butterflies moths mammals reptiles amphibians that hunt through it um, birds bats dragonflies damselflies that will hunt over the meadows like this for insects to feed of course damselflies dragonflies eat insects that's their sole diet so they'll be hunting the insects that are going to nectar um, on these flowers so it really is up there with a wildlife pond for the best thing you can do in your garden is have a wildflower meadow so thank you very much for watching guys Give Nomo Summer a go. Let me know how you get on. Drop some comments in the box below if you've got any questions. Obviously, in terms of the maintenance, you only have to do one cut a year. That's it. September time, end of September if you can. Let everything run its course in terms of the flowers and the um, let them drop the seed, of course, to provide more flowers for the following season and the animals and the wildlife to finish their life cycle properly before you give it a hay cut. Cut and collect all the... Uh, the arisings if you like and um, put it in a compost heap in the corner of the garden because that in turn will attract things like slow worms and grass snakes and various other critters to your garden which will of course just add to your little mini oasis for wildlife so any questions guys drop them in the comments below thanks so much for watching really appreciate the support give the channel a subscribe and I'll be sure to notify you, no I won't, I'll be sure to up, update you with many more videos on all the ways in which you can help wildlife in videos to come. And if you hit the bell notification, you will, get then, you will then get notified. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you soon.